Hello everybody, it's Nerdiversal back here with another video. Um, I apologize if my voice sounds kind of fucked up. Winter has come around and it decided to take me as its, um, prisoner. And I'm fucking sick. I hate it. I, uh, pride myself on, like, never getting sick, even though I always get sick around, like, season change. And I hate it. I don't like being sick. I don't like blowing my nose all day. But you didn't come here to hear me complain about being sick. You came here to see me fix one of my old fucked up drawings, and that you will get. This was actually really fun to do because I was looking at the old one, and that looks like a snail man. The old man looks like a snail man, and I don't like him. He fucking sucks. And I drew it for a friend, too, so like, I wonder if she appreciated it when she first saw it, but um, it wasn't very good, so I fixed him. And a big thing was changing and fixing the realism about it because that was something I had very limited knowledge back then about... Ooh, I got a message. So, um, when I had first drawn the first one, I had taken one single art class and I had only done paper drawings of uh, real people. And in my opinion, they came out pretty, pretty okay. They were not like... They're not super professional, but they also didn't look like shit either. So... I am um, so I had only drawn that but I'd only drawn on paper and I hadn't worked with color and color has really never been my strong suit and so when I decided to draw this I was sort of new to it and oh not another one and um and I you know I just decided to draw it with my limited knowledge of colors and everything else um so you know um trying to draw this again I have a little bit more experience we instead of um, doing it after one year of art I'm doing it after a second year of art so the first year of art was mostly just working with like pencils and stuff but with my second year of art I took an um, AP art class and for those of you that I know that are watching um, I won't name drop anybody but my friends from the AP art class hello I know you're watching um, uh, we were allowed to do digital drawings in there for our final portfolio and we had this thing called the concentration which I mean if you've been in an art class you probably know but it was a concentration where we picked a theme and we stuck to it and we could do it in whatever medium we wanted to and younger me thought this was absolutely fucking fascinating because younger me well a year ago me really a uh, younger me was like, I hate painting, I hate working with physical stuff, let me just do my strong suit, which is digital. And so I started working with a lot more um, in-color drawings, and I wanted to do more realism because I felt like that's what the AP art people would actually appreciate, is doing some realistic art drawings. And, I mean, they, that, that was a, like a preference that the teacher had even told us about that they didn't really like cartoon drawings and so I was like you know what fuck it let's try my hand at some realism and the first few times weren't very good I actually started off with this drawing right here I'll put it down um which was really good and the only reason I ended up doing my concentration the way it was was because of this drawing because I had finished it and was like okay well I need a finished product to turn in I'll just use this one so I turned it in and this is a drawing that I've been working on for a while uh, so I decided to use it, and it was really fun to do when I was drawing it, like, just being able to work with the shadows and stuff, and it was by no means perfect, I didn't really know how to shade, I wasn't completely familiar with the colors and stuff, but it was still a lot better than my first few attempts. And so then I, um, I used that, and I had to keep with the theme of realism, right? So my first few weren't very good. Um, I'll put some of them right there. I just, I was trying to get them done. I was not about to put all my effort into it. I was doing them like a night before they were due, and so none of them were coming out very good. But there's one that I tried really hard on, and it's actually the one that taught me how to do noses, because I did such extensive research just to draw a damn nose and some cheekbones and shit. So that one's the one that gave me a lot of experience. It's the one you're looking at right now, by the way. Uh, Oh my god, I burped. I burped. I fucking hate being sick. Anyways, so I drew that one, and after that, you know, I think, um, realism drawings and working with, like, um, Metabang's, um, fuck it, what is it? Uh, water, I use their watercolor brush to blend the colors a lot, and working with that on, like, a super low opacity ended up being really fun, and so I just kept doing it, and so that's what this is now, is this is after 
two years of experience um, drawing stuff. And I think just a really big thing with drawing realism is you have to practice. You have to look at other people's guides on how to do it or just um, copy from from life. Because you're not gonna you're not gonna get it by not looking at anything and it's just it's really fun to do once you learn how to do it but once you figure it out it is the goddamn funnest thing to do so thank you guys for watching if you guys want to see me draw something else put it down in the comments section below and i love you guys